The marine organism we're going to identify now is the yellowhead wrasse. Wrasses are closely related to parrotfish, and like parrotfish, they can be very difficult to identify due to the large number of different color variations that they go through during their life cycle. The yellowhead wrasse gets its name from its terminal phase coloration when its head is yellow and the back half of its body is a much darker color. Intermediate phase yellowhead wrasses have a dark black and yellow mid-body band, but the intermediate color phase is highly variable, making this stage of the yellow-headed wrasse difficult to distinguish from other wrasses. Juvenile yellowhead wrasses are mostly yellow with a bright blue stripe down the mid-body line. Yellowhead wrasse range in size from 5 to 6 inches with a maximum size of about 8 inches. They are constant swimmers, flitting about the reef at depths from 10 to 50 feet. They can be very difficult to approach closely, but success is best achieved if you approach them from the direction of their travel. They are very fast swimmers, so if they get startled or feel threatened, they will swim away quickly. Yellowhead wrasse feed primarily on various types of invertebrates they find in the sand and near the edges of the reef. If you get close enough, you'll see two prominent upper canine teeth. Like all the wrasses, the yellowhead wrasse is a protogynous hermaphrodite. This means all the juvenile and the intermediate phase fish are females, while the terminal phase adults are all males. During mating, several males will gather in one area to compete for the females and the right to breed with them. That's the yellowhead wrasse.